This video is dedicated to those that lost their lives or lost their loved ones on 9-11-2001. It was a beautiful, cloud-free morning over New York that September day. No one could fathom the tragedy that was about to befall the city and our country. American Airlines Flight 11, carrying 11 crew members and 81 passengers, which included the hijackers, were headed toward Los Angeles. They departed from Boston's Logan International Airport at 7.59 a.m., 47 minutes later, the diverted hijacked plane crashes into the North Tower of the World Trade Center, instantly killing all on board. New Yorkers making their way to work that morning stared at the burning tower in disbelief. At 8.14 a.m., another flight, 175, with 56 passengers and nine crew members aboard, depart Logan International Airport, also headed for Los Angeles. Five hijackers are among the passengers. At 9.03 a.m., just 17 minutes after the first attack, Flight 175 crashes at about 590 miles per hour into the South Tower into a fireball. All 65 people on board died instantly. At 8.55 a.m., President George W. Bush, who is attending a school in Florida, is notified that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center. And at 9.05, he is told about a second plane hitting the other tower. America is under attack. At 9.29 a.m., the president makes his first public statement about the attack. At 9.37 a.m., Flight 77 crashes into the west side of the Pentagon at 530 miles per hour. All 64 passengers on board and 125 Pentagon personnel are killed. At 9.43 a.m., the White House and the Capitol are evacuated. At 9.59 a.m., the South Tower of the World Trade Center collapses 56 minutes after the impact of Flight 175. Gray and white clouds of pulverized concrete and gypsum rush through the streets Panicked New Yorkers run for their very lives. Many are hit with falling debris. Many of them are killed. First responders pour water into the eyes of those who are closest to the falling debris and gave first aid wherever needed. First responders were there from the beginning, rushing headlong into danger, from rushing the Twin Towers to the Marriott Hotel, evacuating workers giving aid to the people on the street. First responders came from across the country to serve alongside New York Fire Department, police, EMTs, doctors, and nurses. At 10.03 a.m., Flight 93 crashed into Somerset County, Pennsylvania at 583 miles per hour. This was due to the fighting in the cockpit between the terrorists and the revolting passengers. The target was thought to be either the U.S. Capitol building or the White House. Many of us will never know the chaos that ensued due to those tragic events, the lives lost, the heroism of all the first responders, many of whom came from all over the country to help. The everyday citizens who assisted other victims and the heroes on Flight 93 who were instrumental in diverting the plane from its original target, they all walked headlong into danger. And for those of us who witnessed 
this tragedy firsthand, it will forever be etched in our minds and in our memories. God bless America. God bless those heroes.